In this tutorial using the Quick Fit gadget, I will show you how to fit multiple data plots and generate a worksheet with the results from each fit. I'll also show you how to perform advanced fitting by switching to the NL Fit dialog. This graph shows three data plots, sensors 1, 2, and 3. I'll select the gadgets menu, choosing Quick Fit with the linear theme. This places the ROI box on the graph. Let us modify the preferences on the ROI box tab I want to adjust the scale so that it goes from 0 to 11. I'll set the scale here to cover all of the data for these multiple curves as expanding to the full plot range may not work if each data has a different begin and end values. Let us also show the R-square value above the ROI box. We can now apply those settings and click OK to close the dialog. From the flyout, we can change the function, trying quadratic. The R-square does not change appreciably, so let us switch back to linear. I'm now ready to output my results. But before I do my new output, I want to go back to Preferences and on the report I want to specify a worksheet. By default this worksheet will have a book name of Quick Fit and the sheet will be called Result. I could change those here if I wished. The controls below specifies what will be output to the worksheet. I can click OK and then I can do a new output. I realize I don't need the label box so I can delete this one and then I want to just go back into preferences and on the label box tab I want to uncheck that checkbox. Now I use the flyout here to change the data so that I can now fit sensor 2. All my preferences have been set so I can just do a new output. If I go to the report worksheet, I'll see that that was appended to that sheet. We can now go back here and change data to fit sensor 3. Again, do a new output. Let's again go to the report worksheet. which is a summary of the fit results from all three curves. The data for the fit curves is added as new columns to the original worksheet. Let's now switch to the dose response folder now let us look at how to select a function and also how to perform advanced fitting by switching to the NL Fit dialog. Let me use the Quick Fit gadget on this graph with a logistic function. As you can see right away, this function is not appropriate for the data. So let's change the function right from the ROI to dose response. Let's go back for a minute and look at the change function flyout. This menu is populated with a list of functions. You can add more functions or remove the ones you don't want by selecting more. In the dialog that opens there are two tabs, one for polynomial fit and one for nonlinear curve fit. Let's click the add button and then from the list of available functions here I can add a new function. We can drag the function to reorder. The list of functions are saved in a category called Quick Fit, which can also be viewed from the Function Organizer dialog. Let us keep the function as dose response and expand the ROI to cover the full range. The fit parameters are shown above. Now if you want more control on your fit, such as say to fix the asymptotes to 0 and 100, at this point, you'd have to switch over to the NL Fit dialog.
You can very easily do that from the flyout, choosing Switch to NL FEM. The ROI disappears and the fitter dialog is opened. Let's go to the Parameters tab. These parameter values are carried over to the NL Fit dialog from the Quick Fit. And here we have control over fixing these values. I can now click Fit to get the NL Fit report and table on the graph. We can see that the asymptotes are fixed. So the Quick Fit tool can be used as a lead in to the NL Fit tool by doing preliminary trial fits on the graph and then switching to the NL Fit tool if more control of the fitting process is needed. Let's go to the Gaussian folder. Let's do a quick fit, quick Gaussian fit. Any graph that previously has a quick fit, you can use control Y to open the NL fit, and the function and the parameters from the quick fit will be loaded into the dialog for further processing. So we've seen that when the ROI is open, you can switch to the NL fit, or if you've done a previous quick fit on a graph at a later time, you can always open up the NL fit and continue with those same parameter values from the quick fit. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.